To start out our projectile motion project, we're going to reach back into Chapter 11 and get those constant acceleration problems out again. Use the FET simulation to test your calculations and make sure that you can hit a target. Remember there's a lot more combinations of angles and starting velocities than just one to hit that target as well. Here's that Excel file under Chapter 16. I'm going to fill in the position of the target for the angle. Use the arctan of rise over run to see the minimum angle. So we're going to have to have it at at least 28 degrees. So let's just type in 30. And this is something we can change around in the future. I'm also going to put the position where our projectiles launched from too. And I'll just have that as 0, 0 for now. But depending on your device, that might be different. And the distance to the target is going to be calculated based on the difference between the target position and where it leaves your device. Okay, I've used constant acceleration equations here. And this is going to give us an equation for our velocity as a function of the target position or the distance to the target. Make sure you get all of your parentheses in here right. And I solved for this just using Mathematica. And again, those constant acceleration equations back from chapter 11. Mathematica is now installed for you over in the testing center. And if there's some other software you want to use, let me know. I'll try and get MATLAB over there too. This is for the Kingwood testing center. So anyways, if you want to use the math software, please use it. Here's Excel. So there's the velocity we would need if we were starting this thing out at 30 degrees. And we can also break that into x and y components, which we'll also go into our ginormous spreadsheet here, we'll do here next. Okay, so once you have your spreadsheet set up correctly and working, you're going to want to get that simulation out again and try out a few different combinations. Okay, so there's our 30 degrees, 47.2 meters per second. How about 40 degrees? Would that work? So 40 would require 20.25. That works too. Or 50 degrees. What is 50? What's the biggest angle that we could use here? So you can go kind of all the way up to almost 90 degrees, right? 90 degrees would be the limit because that would come just straight back down at you. But anything between 28 degrees and 90 degrees would work. You can find a bunch of different velocities. And for your device, you can think about maybe what the most energy efficient starting angle would be. So there's a lot of different ways to hit the target. What's the most efficient way?